Today I'll be talking about tips to safely buy directly from Chinese manufacturers. The reason for doing this video is that it's one of the most common issues that comes up over and over again from our viewers and our website visitors. These are problems that people have with purchasing directly from Chinese manufacturers. Having said that, if you have anything to do with e-bikes, you cannot avoid China. They manufacture and distribute 98% of all the worldwide products related to e-bikes. Today I just received my new 48 volt 30 amp hour triangle battery from China. I'm really excited to install it and make sure it's as promised. Now I bought this from a manufacturer that I had never dealt with before, but from the time I placed the order to the time I received it in California it was under two weeks, which is pretty amazing given all the uh, interaction that I've had with manufacturers in China. Now, since filming the unboxing of this battery, I put over 250 miles on the battery, testing it under various conditions, and it's exactly as they promised. So I'm really happy with the purchase I made, and really happy with the manufacturer. At Augustine eBikes, my partner Dave and I run an online eBike business where 99% of the products we sell, we work directly with Amazon. But that wasn't always true. We spent two years buying directly from China, where it was like a master class of learning the ins and outs of global trade. And the reason I bought this battery from China is that the, as great as the Amazon offerings are, in the higher capacity battery area, their offerings are a little bit limited. So I really needed to buy directly from a manufacturer overseas. So if you find yourself needing or wanting to buy directly from China, here are some tips to making safe purchases. First, you need to understand the Chinese market, and you have to realize that they're making these products for their own population first, given that their population is in need to reduce the number of gasoline-powered vehicles, which are incredibly expensive to operate, and huge polluters, and they have a need to invest in clean electric transportation. In addition to serving their own markets, they're also fulfilling the growing demand around the world for electric vehicles. Europe is the second largest market, and then the rest of the world is third. In order to fulfill this global demand, there are whole cities set up in China for manufacturing various components. So as an example, Shenzhen is home to many of the largest lithium battery manufacturers in the world. The government ensures that these manufacturers are supplying quality products to the Chinese people. So although a lot of people here complain about cheap Chinese products, the fact of the matter is that China is mass manufacturing reliable products for billions of people each year which is a little bit different than the business models we're used to here in the U.S. in terms of numbers. So in buying from China, one of the fact-checking tools you want to keep handy are several websites out there that are a database of Chinese manufacturers. In this particular case, I'm using Global Sources, where you can check all sorts of information on companies that manufacture what you're interested in. In this case, we're looking at e-bikes. They provide company contacts, addresses, how many years they've been in business, and on and on. There's a lot of information in there you can drill down and really find out who these people are. These sites should be used once you've found what you want to purchase and from whom as a means of background checking so you know who you're buying from. Over the last five years, two major uh, overseas online marketplaces that have emerged and thrived are AliExpress and DHK. These are the two largest and safest to work with, and they both have many built-in safeguards, including a very responsive customer service function. Now, I have purchased from both of them many times, and whenever there's been a problem, they've resolved it quickly and efficiently. I have never had a problem. They were always resolved. The way these companies are set up is that everybody's ass is on the line if the customer isn't happy. So this is really good news for you, the consumer. So let's get started. Either company will work, but I'm going to use DHgate because in this particular case, the seller doesn't get paid from DHgate until you get the item. Then they release the money. It's just another incentive for the seller to get you what you want on time and make sure that you're happy. So let's say I'm looking for an e-bike. I'll find a category of products I want and look through the selection. When I find the item that I want, I now want to know who I'm dealing with. I want to look at how long they've been in business, their shipping policies, their customer ratings, their customer reviews. These are all really important. Both of these sites, AliExpress and DHgate, make it really visible for you to go find that information. And then, of course, you can do your background check later on. Once you find a product in a company you like that meets your criteria, prepare to contact them at least twice with questions before you buy. 
don't necessarily signal that you're about to buy, but just ask them questions about the product, simple questions about the product. Send the first question and wait for a reply. Now, give them the time difference, of course. If you receive a genuine reply within 12 to 24 hours, ask another question. If you get an equally quick reply, they're probably a really good candidate to purchase from. Now it's time to go back to Global Source or one of those affiliate websites for a final check. To look up that manufacturer, double check that they are exactly what they say they are, look at their specs, look at you know how customers have in interacted with them. And if everything checks out, it's a safe bet that this is probably going to be a safe purchase. If this is your first time dealing with this manufacturer, once you've paid for the purchase, you can check in every couple of days via email, and there's a messaging board on both of these sites to see how things are going, a couple of quick questions, and usually they're pretty responsive. If they're, a good, if they're a good manufacturer and a good seller, they'll get back to you, and this way you can, you can feel good about the purchase you made. Now, if you follow these steps, just to do the due diligence and the background checking of these companies, you're going to have a, probably a 99.999% success ratio for purchasing from China. But as we all know, there's always fraud everywhere. It's not just in China, it's everywhere in the world. But there's a lot you can do as a consumer to stack the odds in your favor. The demand for Chinese goods is growing every year, and it's important as consumers to have good experiences when buying from China. As a country, they're growing with their global manufacturing and becoming better and better at customer service and shipping and, and customs, all those things that make them a, a global partner. So. Uh, I hope you have a good experience with that. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please subscribe below. Thanks so much.